Hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Summo Gaming. It's going to tell your wife who is. I'm going to call it trash. <laughs> I'm going to say at it's called your wife who is trash. I'm pretty sure that was what the first one was. Number two. It's done a part two. I thought the first one was very funny. Uh, gave Ratalia some some poop and some of my other favorite waifus. Let's see if he offends me again with his offensiveness of, of waifus. Anyway, your waifu is trash. Number two. Once again, it's that time again. To rate your waifus in the series I would like to call Your Waifu is Asura or X but I actually don't know what I'm going to title this video and I apologize for the inconsistency of these titles. Oh, damn. However, as a man on YouTube, I have to stay as family friendly as possible yep. so I don't bump into the same issue as last time and have to do some unfortunate sacrifices just to keep the video up. No. Yeah, and if you haven't it was good. Check it out. Which I did do a good while back. Link to that is in the description. So, you know, I, I got you. I got you. And in my previous part, I did have a light goal and it was 2k like 2k 2k likes right, right. and it actually managed to get 7k Sweet. likes which not too shabby that's not too shabby, not However, too shabby. I want to challenge you guys in this video and i'll be making the light goal for another part 10k but for this is where i kindly talk about your wife who's i'll typically always take all suggestions Sabre. for this sort of video through twitter so feel free to follow me on there i post a lot of random stuff you know we got the memes we got the hentai but yeah follow me <laughs> on there so next time i tweet out when i'm taking more suggestions for this series you can submit some of your spiciest waifus for me to poop on and i guess to poop on. Added, <laughs> just quickly shamelessly plug that i have a discord server and a twitch channel that you know you guys could follow and join link to those are in the description but that's enough <laughs> dilly dally let's actually get into this video starting with the highly praised dilly dally, dilly, dilly. i don't think i'll be Rap. on your waifus this time i feel like i was being too lenient last time so i think it's about that time we spice things up because i was really giving free s's and a's as if it was f***ing christmas but enough of that rem F tier. <gasps> Alright, right, 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 right. relax, relax. I was just Whoa. kidding. In the world of ReZero, there's a lot of competition when it comes to the concept of best girl. We uh, got Amelia, Amelia, Ram, Beatrice, Felix, what's her name again? And Roswell. And Felix in order to compete, you must is a follow dude. certain criteria <laughs> in order to claim the throne of best girl. However, by simply looking at Rem's outfit, this screams I'm an absolute basic bitch and I have nothing unique about my personality. By now, I think we all should be aware that made outfits are just overrated. And it's about Whoa. that time we upgrade to the bunny girl era. Oh, disrespect mine. Yeah. Last okay, video. that's pretty hard, yeah. <clears throat> Rem's really out here wearing a made outfit as if that very original fit makes her special. Wow, it's not like I've seen that outfit being used ever in my life. Never. And I mean ever. Like, I really mean ever. Well, we do need to cut her some slack, though. Because there's a purpose above just simple appearances that this made outfit serves. Which is, it's very flexible material. And with that being said, it really benefits Rem's hobby of playing Twister. And honestly, oh, I would never take my chances and actually compete against her because uh, she's an absolute pro at her craft. Uh, I really do hate to so like hard this, to watch. Putting all that into consideration, she gets an F for flexibility. So up oh. next, we have Itsuki from Five Dash to you, Bun, No, Quintessential and I believe it's only right to cover all sisters in this video because to have them spread apart like Rathery's cheeks across episodes, really ain't for me. So starting with. <laughs> Itsuki. I don't know about you, but school lunches are mad grimy. And for her to be spending this much on one meal at school, mind you, seems a bit, uh, I don't know, disgusting. Yes. However, <laughs> things could be different in Japan as far as their school lunches go. And they actually might care about their students. I mean, I'm from America, so school lunches here. <laughs> They hurt. So I suppose since they I never hurt. tried a Japanese school <laughs> lunch, I can't really place judgment on her for this one. So anyone who had lunch in a Japanese school's cafeteria, let me know how the food tastes. Because I'm genuinely curious. Although if you went to a Japanese school, there's a good chance you wouldn't even find this video because it's in English. But I'm getting sidetracked <laughs> here. So aside from eating yes. big bread on school lunches, she also has star hairpins, which symbolizes swag. So it would only be fitting to give her an S for swag points. And now up next we have... Fair enough! expand this real quick so up next we have nino of course with a female character that falls under the cindere category this probably already has weaves begging to be stepped on and what's yes. this she could cook as well oh my god look at those cookies. cookies is probably one of the hardest recipes to follow and for her to just deliver just serve oh my god spicy cookies or not actually spicy but, but they're, like they're nice yeah. cookies they look good only chefs of quality know how to make these exquisitely delicious cookies mm. and by now you may actually be convinced that nino is the ideal wife 
waifu because she can f***ing cook cookies. <laughs> well, there's one flaw that unfortunately overwrites and overpowers everything I had to say for her. Was it safe for cookies? She got Cardi B jeans. And for those who may be wondering, what does that mean? Well, let's take this example for a second. Our homie Futuro was just trying to enjoy some just homemade god tier cookies they look what's good. this nino's trying to hand him a drink and she's saying it's water but the water is fizzing so with her boy futuro deceived by these cookies because by now we all know those cookies were crafted by god but after yes. being handed that drink of water this left futuro waking up in a taxi cab just out of nowhere all confused like what happened he got cardi bead so who may actually be one of the more deadlier waifus in the bunch because she can play basketball. And not Damn. only can she play basketball, but she also has the bunny hood equipped at all times. So Aww. expect some exceptional speed and agility when she breaks your ankles and dunks on you. B for baller. And last but B not for least, baller. Ichika. And you may be wondering, where, where, where's Miku? Where's Miku? Well, first off, I'm going to need to slap that neck for not watching the first part, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And second, for those who are too lazy to watch the first part for whatever reason, that already got settled. Now, with Ichika being the oldest out of the five sisters, you'd be expecting her to be the greatest out of no, nah, she lazy. <laughs> she's the Anesama that they all should be looking up to. However, just look at this reaction time. <laughs> C for clumsiness. All right, and so up next we have Chica. Chica. Yasama, love is war. And by now, I'm sure the majority of us Hell know yeah. this ending right here, the Chica <laughs> dance. But not only does Chica yeah. operate the dance floor, she can spit bars as well. Yeah, yeah. A combo like this should really be illegal. However, the writer didn't give a. <laughs> And said, I'll hand you perfection, bottled up in a cute anime girl. And to be honest, she's almost too perfect. E tier. And so up next, we have Nell from Bleach. So, uh, former no. here. We talking little. <laughs> so, Nell. One thing I need to point out with Nell is that she's wearing no footwear. How are you not gonna protect yeah, that's gonna the hurt. metal parts <laughs> of the body? Because I'm sure everyone here can agree that feet is what makes us beat. Now, disregarding this form of Nell, this form of Nell got the old pie that even rivals Orihime's. And that's pretty impressive because no one in Bleach even comes remotely close to Orihime. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. Well, this form of Nell is pretty strong. <laughs> even with the extra weight in the front of the bus, she still has the mobility as if she was using instant transmission. But... The no footwear is throwing me off. Huh. D -tier. D -tier. So up next we have <laughs> and it's crazy you bring him up because he's really underrated and he's truly a waifu in disguise. Weirdly enough, he got that straight blend between cute and thick that I can't really explain. And what I commend Reagan for so is so cool. He's though. very modest and doesn't go around flexing his waifu built body. Because tell me this, when was the last time you've seen Reagan wear a bikini? Huh. Exactly. So yeah. even though Reagan is low-key <laughs> thick, we'll never know the true mass, the true density, the true definition of what's under the suit. It's safe to assume Reagan is a fat ass without question. Hell yes. Go from oh, she can a true go. Gambling veteran right here. Oh way. She's the type of all or nothing in a wager match, and no matter the verdict, she'll end up pleasured. Not that yeah. anything's wrong with that. Wow. All I'm trying to say is that she's the type of female to pull you closer with a leg lock to prevent you from pulling out and increasing the risk of the gamble. Could nice. I say that? With reckless activity <laughs> like this, she earns an Can F for being an absolute mad lad. So up mad lad. <laughs> fire force. First impressions are always important, and I believe she won me over in the first episode with this just spectacular oh, sight. However, hmm. that is until I found out there are other females in the show that are better. Being able to see <laughs> can be a very helpful resource, like when it comes to lighting a campfire or something of that nature. And her strength, uh -huh. just really? think about the things she can snap with that power. I think I just visualized something that I shouldn't. Well, the final verdict huh. for this one would be a C. For see you later, because there's only one girl in Fire Force that's objectively correct as best girl. So next we got Louie. Oh, no. From Domestic Girl. Oh, no. And you, my friend, chose the right screenshot for this. But it's not like we're related by blood or anything. Oh, that God. right there defines the mentality of a true emoto. In most cases, by saying, but it's not like we're related by blood or anything, that really shows that she's a very open-minded individual. Yeah. She also has a way with words open that can without fail convince anyone in an instant. Like right here, for example. She simply asked our friend Natsuo, Wanna smash? And of course, with those irresistible <laughs> and delicate words, Natsuo had to submit because Rui clearly has sophisticated word choice. For having speech 100 oh abilities, God, domestic okay. girlfriend so was so weird. And to be brutally honest with you, it took oh, from Rascal does not dream of funny girl sometimes. Because we had Mai, Tomoe, and Kaede in the front line, and then meanwhile, Ryo was there. Just there in the background, yeah. In a 
lab coat, which mm. the lab coat is probably one of the only things memorable about her, to be honest, after forgotten. Oh. Have to pay respect. So this now brings us to Ryoko. Ryoko, so you know, cool. I like the main character that she is. She doesn't believe in school uniforms. Nah. That right there is an excellent sign of an excellent protagonist. Hell and yes. To top it off, she has one strand of red, red hair, hair yeah. which symbolizes... Yes, she is. A yandere, I would truly be a horrifying combo. Beats here because she can flip her scissor blade like a butterfly knife. And since we're on Killer Queen, hey. of course, we have to cover the one. Oh, hi, Beth. Hello. Uh, based off uh, <laughs> I'm just watching a video about waifus. <laughs> woman, hmm. which yeah. self, that may come off as a waifuish perk, but digging deep into the bones of this character, one thing I can't help to mention are these eyebrows. It's true, eyebrows can come in all shapes and sizes. What do you think of her eyebrows, babe? This. Not as good as mine. No. <laughs> next, we have Yoshino from Dead Alive. And I think we need to take a moment to appreciate the dedication. What the freak is this anime? <laughs> her way to create a bunny cosplay to match the bunny oh! 24 7. Oh, cool. That's cute. It's kind of green. But who cares? That is adorable. Kind of yeah. Eye patch, which doesn't match with oh my fit. god. But anyways, what's really sick about Yoshino's pet bunny is that it can transform into <gasps> one of the most adorable of all things, man. And the best what? part is that it can use Ice Beam like a damn Pokemon. So just for that alone, hey, Levi from Train 7 Right off the bat, we are introduced to this character with her camouflaging abilities. Similar to Naruto, who became Hokage, which makes this camouflage ability a Hokage level technique, if you really think about it. Which automatically makes her a Hokage level ninja by default. Because the sheer amount of skill that requires to pull off such a technique is immeasurable. And that is something we should never overlook when it comes to ninjas. Yeah. Especially waifu ninjas. However, by being a ninja and a female character, that automatically makes you a Konoichi. Which, unfortunately, lumps you in with Sakura. Oh dear. <laughs> Here, this is another glasses girl that I low key forgot about. Oh, Maybe no. not to the extent as this glasses girl, but I believe Nagato was a little bit more relevant, so it, it didn't make me completely forget about her. All right, but one of the main uh. reasons why I forgot about her is because while all the eventful things are happening on screen, we just have her in the back reading a book and really oh. thinking about it. That only means she's big brain as. Because not only does reading require a hefty amount of mental and spiritual energy, it's also uh. something that smart people do, which is no surprise that I don't. So with this true intellectual who probably read the Harry Potter series 70 times over by now, it would be criminal to give this hidden gem of a waifu anywhere below the Z tier. And while we're at oh. it, another waifu we have okay. to over from what? all the Akadis and Suzumiya is oh. Asahina, which right off the bat, we might actually have to give her a plus 50 oh. for being the embodiment of a cosplay goddess. And on top of that, something many tend to overlook about her is her overwhelming strength strength that might actually even rival goku's and what truly makes Whoa, okay so special is that's this some, right that's here strength. she has a mole on her chest which surprisingly oh. enough serves as a third nipple and due to the rarity oh, wow. of the third nipple <laughs> sorry but this right here is without a doubt s and lastly we got nezuko from <sighs> and a common error the fandom tends to make when simply drawing such a wholesome figure is not making it so wholesome how can you not get that simple well, whether she's sitting, laying down, or running, that's enough to earn a rightful spot in the must protect tier. Must Far protect. away from the loot tier. Right, artist? Well then, this pretty much concludes this video. I hope you all did enjoy, although I think I lost the respect of many of you guys already, but uh, I suppose that's okay. So if you would care to see more of this sort of thing and would like to see another part, you already know what to do. And yeah. if you don't, and somehow have short-term memory, 10k likes. Although, the last time I challenged you all to the goal of 10k likes, this is what happened. So nice. I don't even know if this will qualify as a challenge at this point. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty much done here. Saber. If you'd like to participate in my next year of waifu is whatever, follow me on Twitter. And the next time I tweet out when I'm taking the next batch of waifus, you can drop all your suggestions there. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm all done here. So I'm going to go cry in the shower now because I know this conversation is going to be hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> So it was a nice, interesting mm -hmm. video about waifus that you walked halfway in and <laughs> didn't make me feel awkward about watching whatsoever. Who's your number one waifu? If Tally is up there. And zero two. Wow. I mean, you! You're my number <laughs> one waifu! Yeah. So, there we have it. Thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> we need to have a talk. What do you guys think of that?
what you guys think of this. Click like. Sub I can't remember my outro. I'm <laughs> Sub number one, babe. Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys. Peace out, guys. Make that. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, you're my number one, babe. Damn right. Yeah. Uh, you tell them, babe. Oh, oh yeah, we're still... <laughs> <laughs>